Yo, I see reflections of dead kidding pedestrians. Permanent stress we in. Cursing off with time at the bottom scroll on ESPN. Pros How you doing today, man? We sitting here with Big Dog and O. You know what I mean? Let them know where you from, man. What you represent, brother? Man, New Orleans, born, home, hometown. You know, born and raised. But being real is my hood. It's my section, man. And that's such an effort running wild over my man. So downtown all day, man. Okay, okay. Okay, so before we start, the name Big Dog and O. Okay. I mean, give us a little something. Give us a little something on the backstory. Definitely, no problem, man. The thing is, um, I, that was given to me as far as Big Dog. A lot, I mean, ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a teenager, matter of fact, a lot of cats would approach me with Big Dog, Big Dog, the streets. I mean, they brought that to me, so I, I just embraced it in full. So Katrina hit, man. I, I had that as my, my, my stage name, Big Dog. I ended up evacuating to Panama City, Florida, and you know, running with a few artists out there, a few street niggas out there, and whatnot. And um, that's when and No just came about. So it went from Big Dog to Big Dog, you know, and it just all made sense because I know I had to bury you from Big Dog at some point. So that was like the perfect mesh, the perfect junction, and shit that you had with Big Dog, you know. Okay. Okay. Now, as far as like music-wise, what made you get into music? Like, what what started this? How did this journey begin? As far as being the artist that you are today. So, well, um, definitely, man. As a kid, I want to say about eight years old, man. I had an older cousin, King George. He was a uh, he was a rapper in No Limits. So I was always receiving the merch, the paraphernalia, and whatnot from No Limits as a kid. And uh, I just was I was always around it, but. I found myself going through counseling, through uh, the family divorce and whatnot, and my counselor would tell me that I was an introvert, and the only way I could get off my emotions or my thoughts, I had to write them on the pad, and that's where the creative aspect came about, and I just found myself jotting everything I felt from that point on. Okay, okay. You from New Orleans, the Bienville area, that's your neighborhood? Exactly. Like, I understand when we look in the media, the picture that they paint about New Orleans, it's not a good one. It's murder capital, uh, Katrina, just a whole bunch of negative things. You, as an artist, how do you find inspiration? How do you stay motivated in such, I'm, I won't say in such a, like, a negative environment, but just an environment where, like, you know, it's, it's just very tough. How do you stay motivated in? Well, the, the, the key to all that is, uh, man, Solitude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta really, really hold us in into you and your true potential, and really, really stay low with whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just really stay out the way. Stay out the way, but you'll survive. You know what I'm saying? And granted, you can't. You gotta get dirty. <laughs> I'm just gonna be all the way real with you. You gotta get dirty here, dog. To really, really suffice anything or build anything. I don't care what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's really survival of the fittest here, but at the same time, it's possible, man. You, you, you just gotta, you gotta maneuver to your, the best of your abilities here. Really stay low. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you, you, I've been doing this for a long time, man. And trust me, I, I've been maneuvering right for a long time. That's how I'm possibly here before you all right now. <laughs> to, to just uh, maneuvering, maneuvering right, you know what I mean? Keeping that third eye peeled over. So that's, that's really the key, man. There ain't much inspiration here at all. There ain't much inspiration. You shit your neighbor down all your dreams before you get the opportunity to do so. So it's more so about you just just digging deep into yourself here, finding your pad and staying out of the way, but yet 